High-density polyethylene liner, also known as HDPE liner is popular due to its durability and resistance to UV and chemicals. It is widely used in water containment projects such as ponds, water treatment facilities, and sanitary landfills. Today, we will discuss why HDPE liner is being used primarily in sanitary landfills and the wastewater treatment facility. HDPE liner as mentioned earlier has durability, UV resistant, and chemical resistant property. Garbage when degrades and mixed with water produce a substance called leachate. This leachate is harmful to the environment as well as to the health of the people in the community when not handled properly. The application of HDPE liner is based on the permeability of the soil. Permeability is the ability of the soil to absorb water. In low permeability, HDPE is not necessary for landfill cells as it cannot absorb the leachate easily. But if the landfill soil permeability is high, the leachate could sip into the ground and may contaminate our water supply. This is where HDPE becomes necessary. With the application of HDPE liner, the leachate will not be absorbed in the ground. It will be drained into the wastewater treatment facility, undergo treatment process in the four ponds with varying design and purposes, and then eventually released as safe to the environment water. Take note that, whether the soil permeability is high or low in a wastewater treatment facility, it should all be lined with HDPE. Garbage usually takes a decade to decompose and any liner could not resist this length of time. With the addition of the harmful substance produced by the waste, HDPE is perfect for this type of project. According to studies, HDPE liner could last up to 45 years in extreme weather conditions. But, in ideal weather, it could last up to three centuries. There's more to HDPE liner that meets the eye. For more information regarding HDPE liners, check the description below. Thank you for listening.